wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we're Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube, alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks, and help you become a better trader. Now today, we'll unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. But before we dive in to this week's stocks, I am joined today by Dale Gillam. Good morning, Dale. Hey, what a great week we had last week on the market. Yeah, we did. Market was up. Bit... I keep getting more excited about it. Yes, yes. Well, it's it, mm. it has all the reasons to fall with yeah. all the ge uh, geopolitical issues around the world. And it's not. And it's not. So yeah. really bullish at the moment. I love it. I think it's we're going to have some really good look at some great stocks today. So I'm just excited to get into it. Yes, we sure will. All right. So let's get straight into it on your screen. Right now is a watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks now. You'll see, obviously, Arcadium Lithium there um, being the big winner with everything that happened with the Rio Tinto deal, of course. Yeah, but so don't go and buy it today. No, <laughs> no that's probably not a good you're not idea. Gonna get, you're not going to get that this week, that's for sure. <laughs> no, but Zips, you know, up there as well, 14% up. That's another yeah, interesting that's one. Yeah, that's been doing well, hasn't it? It's, yes. It's, it's after being so bearish for such a long period of time. I mean, if we just click on the chart, you can see it was bearish for such a long period of time down to here. But... Looking good, but it's way overdue now for a pullback, I think, this stock. So yes. um, I think it's probably being a bit stretched at the moment. But some really good numbers, and it's a nice broad section right across, you know, not just um, materials or not just financials. We've got some broad stuff all the way through. Obviously, Block doing well up 9%. Um, but looking really nice. I mean, Hub24, that's a financial flying. stock flying up at 6.5%. So you know, to me, everything looking good. But let's have a quick look at the other end of the scale. So we're seeing... West African resources down 13.51%, Sigma down 9 pharmaceuticals. So healthcare down a little bit at the moment, which we saw obviously energy's down last week. Ampol, the former Caltex, is down 4. Um, nothing too, um, can I say, alarming to me what I'm seeing here at the moment. But can I go and have a look at the RRG graph of all this? Of course Am you I can. Am I allowed to take you, the time to do that? For sure, yes. Well, let me put my glasses on and I can have a look at this, I think. So this is the RRG graph of all of that. And I just want to quickly bring it up before we move on to the hot stock. But looking at this, this is where Phil and I find stocks to trade mm. um, and, and tells us what's got momentum and what's got volatility. Um, and if you just put a vertical line down here, we can see if we just have that, those stocks on that side, are less than the stocks on this side. To me, that says opportunity to me. And interestingly, if I look at this up in this green area, which is these leading stocks are leading the ASX 200, look at them, they're, they're all sort of pointing down, which is why the market's a little bit sluggish at the moment. But it shows me these stocks will actually push and turn around again and start to move up. But there are so many stocks in this lagging area for us to look at to actually start to buy now. These are the things that we're going to look at, well, obviously, with our students and obviously with our people on Talking Wealth, um, that we show them how to what stocks to buy and everything else. But this is where we look at the moment. So right now, this is telling me the market's set up to go on a nice bullish run. That's what it's telling me. All right, excellent. So what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Helia Group, stock ticker code HLI. So on your screen right now, are the monthly and weekly charts. And I want wow. to start off things on the monthly, Dale. This one is a very interesting stock. And obviously, we've got, you know, it coming out of the all-time lows in June, May 2020, September 20, it tested it. We're in a very nice uptrend at the moment, uh, displayed with these very distinct higher highs and higher lows, which is quite nice. But the real exciting part, and we've got this momentum line here, just tracking yeah. price quite nicely. But What's real interesting is, you know, you see stocks, and we've, we've shown this time and time again on this show and even on Tuesday night, but they float, they have a bit of a, uh, euphoria at the start, and then the market decides, hey, you know, not yet. They fall back below the float price, they hover around until they find their base, and then they go, the next real solid run is post the fall um, after lifting, mm. uh, after listing, sorry. What's quite interesting is that this stock is literally in June 2024, come back and touch that float price exactly, 
saw a whole bunch of buyers come in represented with the nature of the way this bar unfolded. Look how strong that tail is relative to the close. Huge buying and we've gone on with it now on the monthly chart. And to me, we are in this real nice uptrend. We've had a healthy pullback. We've got confirmation from support and resistance horizontal, but also trend support and resistance. And I think the next port of call is we're gonna be chasing these highs up in January, 2024. And if this is part of the new mm. expansion long-term, then I expect us to break through to the all-time high. It's looking good, isn't it? Mm. It does look really, really nice, but it is. A lot of people think, you know, buying a stock off the float is the best way to get a stock. And yet I've I've never bought a stock on the float, mm -hmm. ever, because it's the highest risk time to buy a stock. Because exactly. you just don't know. And until somebody physically hands over a dollar, attraction transactions never happen. So, and, you know, to me, marketing, doc and this is really important to understand is when you get the marketing documents for floats, it's a marketing document, not necessarily a document to tell you to invest in the company. It's trying to get you to invest in the company, but it's not giving you enough to invest in the company. It's made by a marketing team. It's not actually made by an, an analyst team. And even then it's all speculative. So, and to me, especially stocks that haven't had a history of trading, unlike Telstra or ComBank that floated, um, I didn't even buy those because you can generally, 50% of the time you'll buy them cheaper in, within 12 months anyway. And secondly, you just don't know. So I stay out of floats till it's traded. So what you're saying, it's like when you go on your first date. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. Everybody puts their best foot forward. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I just want to go to the weekly chart. What kind chart of girl are quick. you talking about? Okay. <laughs> Let's just go to the weekly chart real quick because there was one other point that was quite important on this one, and, and that is the volume that's coming. Yep. So if we just zoom out on the weekly chart here, you can see, look at this huge volume coming in in March 2024 and also June, and that is coinciding with these moves here. Now, you would expect with this large down move, if the volatility is bearish, that should continue on that lower. But what's yeah. happened is it's come again with huge volume and look how it's been picked up. So to me, extended selling in terms of volatility being picked up with huge volume, that's a bullish um, signal. So right now we're breaking through this short to medium term resistance as well, curling up nicely. I think you know it like all boats it. to a nice run up. Good stock to be. All right, well, that is it for my hot stock tip. Now we're moving on to a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Endeavor Group stock ticker code EDV on your screen are the monthly and weekly charts. Now this one- Looks interesting, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Because again, it's one of those scenarios, obviously stocks mm. go through expansion, contraction, accumulation, distribution. Mm. To me, what's happening is this one's coming out of a long, long uptrend. And why it's a caution right now is because obviously, you know, there's nothing yet yeah. to say that we've turned the corner in terms of breaking out into this new expansion phase. But one thing we are doing is we could potentially be accumulating here, Dale, at these levels. And how do we not notice these accumulation is have a look at price. Mm -hmm. The lows are getting higher, the highs are getting lower. We're compressing in price, we're not trending. Yeah. And so right now with us doing that, and if you just look on the weekly chart again, we've had a huge spike in volume coming around these lows. So now it's a case of really how good are you at identifying when you're going to be breaking out of these kinds of moves and what strategies are you going to have in place to take on that new expansion phase when it does come? That's all. Well, look, I mean, have you heard of P's and B's? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well the P's that you eat. No, 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 oh. P's and B's. If you go and look at the chart, well, let's go and have a look at the chart. But you look at this and you say you bring it down and that's and this is a, if this oh, is the shape of the B. Yeah, but you get the exact opposite yeah. at the top. Uh -huh. So to me, it's P's and B's. It's trying to keep it simple and easy for people. So you do see that pattern. This looks a bit like a B and it's like a bottoming pattern mm -hmm. to me. So that's, I mean, I understand why it's a caution because it's a bottoming pattern. But if you see the opposite at the top, then you could be at a peak of a market yeah. in that P and a B. See, like that's it. why it's P's and B's. They look like P's and B's. So therefore, I've just taught you. There you How's go. That? That's, I'm still the mentor. <laughs> I'm still the mentor. I do like it at the moment. I really do like this stock at the moment. But uh, it's got to get moment, through it's five, got to, six bucks, it, right? It's got to get through, you know, all, all this mess at the moment. So it's a little bit early because it could still fall. But often when you see a big downward move, that first move out of that big low is looks bearish anyway. Yes. So I'm not too worried about it. But just be careful at the moment. So I, I agree with you. All right, beautiful. Now, lastly. What's not hot in the stock market this week? Neuron Pharmaceuticals stock ticker code NEU. So let's get into the charts right now on this one. And I mean, you know, obviously a stock that looks quite interesting. Now this isn't one of those, you know, uh, capitulation type stocks because it is coming out of a really nice run up. And I just wanted to focus on that for now because although this is my not hot stock tip, I think there is potential that this stock 
could find its feet, if not around here, at the next level uh, around those October 23 lows. But we need to trade with what we're seeing right now on the chart. And given we've had this really strong run up, and again, look at the way this has happened. This to me speaks euphoria. You're not seeing it anywhere throughout these moves. I mean, there was a period mm -hmm. here, and then look what happened. The stock came back to about half and continued on. That was a signal that this euphoric was actually buying, not the end of the run. There was another euphoric level of buying through here. Look at the pullback above there. So that still speaks bullish. Again, euphoric buying in December 21, look at the pullback. Now we get euphoric buying and the pullback's mm. almost coming back down to under where the buyer started. We've broken a trend line on the monthly chart. To me right now, this is bearish in the short to medium term. So you really need to wait for that confirmation. And that confirmation doesn't mean just what we saw in September. So many traders would have looked at that, or I'm assuming, but people would have looked at that and thought, hang on, it's come back to a trend line. There's buying off, off the low here, I'm gonna get in but there's no confirmation there. And look what's followed this month in October. So right yeah. now, you really need to get that confirmation right in terms of when this move's gonna fall. It'll correct. Uh, it'll come back at some point, because it is in a very nice uptrend, but right now you need to sit and wait on your feet. That's the point here. Look, I mean, looking at this, it's around some some really critical support levels. That's right. Um, and it looks like it's already broken one of them, and it's pretty close to the second one. So at the, this point in time, if I were to guess, I'm saying around $8. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I was to guess at that without putting more work on this stock, but at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to find some support at its level. So, I mean, definitely, I mean, you can look at this level here you know, and say, okay, that's a support level. And it possibly is, but I think if we start seeing moving down, it's going to go to that $8. If it gets anywhere near that level of that low, I think $8 is going to happen. And it could even get down to around $6. So, but that's where I think it would find support because if you've got, if you put the crosshair on here and you can see around that $6 mark, there's some sort of support levels around there. Um, and then the next one's down around that $3.50. But I think that sort of level there, I reckon that's where it's headed to. So if you like shorting stocks, I mean, it's not a kind of stock I would normally short because mm. uh, it's on the, not on the, I normally would only short a top 100 stock or a top 50 stock. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to short smaller stocks like this one, but um, right now I love it in terms of it falling away, yeah. I think it's really safe to short this stock if you're somebody who loves to short, and, but and be careful with it. Yes, and the important part, as you said, it's obviously mm. one thing identifying where the support and resistance is, and then it's mm. a whole nother ball game identifying how you're gonna nominate or identify that turn with confirmation. Oh yeah. And then trade yeah. the actual stock in terms of your rules around that. Yeah, well. a lot of people don't understand that. Like they go, oh, you know, if people, 90% of people can't trade short. They're mm. just, their brain just doesn't get it. Um, having to sell something to make money on it. You know, they just don't get it. And the rules are, whilst the entry and exit rules are uh, basically the same, the money management, all sorts of other stuff is different around trading short and obviously margin accounts. So, but to me, when you're looking at a stock and, and people overuse support and resistance, and that's the one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is, well, the biggest one is not setting stop losses. Number two mm. is not having a trading plan. And number three is using support and resistance for everything basically. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the three big, big, big mistakes. So, you know, try and avoid those if you, if you possibly can. But uh, as I said, I think this is bearish at the moment. So good pick for a bearish stock. Wise words. All right. Well, thank you for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Remember to tune into the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night. Now to find us, just type Wealth Within live in the YouTube search. Remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 03 9290 or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com.au. And I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you very much, Dale, for your excellent comments today. No, my pleasure. I mean, you know, I love when they, we're looking at some of these stocks. There's some great stocks that have done really, really well, Phil. For, uh, and really, I do hope people take some of the advice we're giving you because you will be a much better trader. But I look forward to chatting with everyone to, on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube. Remember, Tuesday night from 7 p.m. live on YouTube. So head over there. All right, thank you very much, Dale, and thank you everybody for watching for now. Goodbye, good luck, and good trading.